so I have repeated the pattern and then here I have changed the color and I think I got the length of the cardigan I wanted now what we will do is that we will start working on our sleeves for that what we are going to do we are going to join the yarn <coughs> into this uh, double crochet this is the uh, round this is where we made the double crochets when we separated the armholes and back side and right and uh, um, left front size sides so this is the last um, double crochet which we made before making the separation for the armhole we are going to join into that on the top of that double crochet we are going to join our green yarn and then i will make chain three one two three and then i will simply make one double crochet into each and every double crochet one two three four i will make rest of the round off camera just make sure that the when you start this round the right side of the work should be facing towards you and you join here and then you simply make one double crochet in all the double crochet and i will resume my video when i reach here i have made 29 double crochets plus our starting chain three this one also counts as our first double crochet so in total we should end up with 30 double crochets what we will do now is we will skip all of these uh, stitches and we will slip stitch on the top of our uh, starting chain three we are going to slip stitch into third chain like that and then and then what we are going to do is we are going to make chain one and turn around so that the wrong side of our work is work, uh, facing towards us don't worry about this hole this gap we will close it later on so this is our first available stitch what we are going to do is we are going to make one single crochet into that and then make chain three one two three skip next two double crochets and one single crochet into the next again chain three one two three skip next two double crochets and one single crochet into the next one two three skip next two double crochets and one single crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end at the end of this round you should end up with 10 uh, chain three spaces I have made nine chain three spaces and now I am at the end of this round and here it looks like there is only one stitch left but actually there are two stitches left this is the uh, starting chain three where we slip stitched in our last round but we made one single crochet into the last uh, double crochet from the last round so we have two stitches left here what we will do we will make one two three chains and slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet like that then make chain one and turn around slip stitch into this chain three space like that now make chain three one two three and this starting chain three counts as your first double crochet make two more double crochets into the same chain space one and two and then make one front post double crochet around this single crochet like that 
three double crochets into next chain three space one two and three again one front post double crochet around the post of single crochet three double crochets into next chain three space one two and three front post double crochet around the post of single crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making three double crochets into this uh, chain three space and front post double crochet around the post of single crochet i am at the end of this round and this is the first uh, single crochet we made in last round what we are going to do is we are going to make a front post double crochet around the post of that single crochet and then join at the top of starting chain 3 or into the third chain make chain 1 and turn around now this is the uh, front post double crochet from the last round this one we are going to make one single crochet on the top of that chain 3 1 2 3 skip these three uh, double crochets and this is the front post double crochet from the last round we are going to make a single crochet on that this is the pattern we are going to um, repeat we will chain 3 1 2 3 skip three double crochets the plain uh, double crochets and then make one single crochet on the top of our front post double crochet this one from the last round repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and this is the first single crochet uh, of this round that we made at the start of this round we are going to slip stitch into that we will make chain one and turn around now the right side is facing towards us we will slip stitch into next chain three space chain three one two three and make two more double crochets into same chain space one and two now we will make front post double a uh, treble crochet into we will go one round below and uh, we will make front post treble crochet around the post of this front post double crochet like that three double crochets into next chain space one two three one front post treble crochet into this front post double crochet from one round below repeat this pattern all the way to the end make three double crochets into chain three space and one front post double uh, treble crochet around the post of double crochet basically we are repeating uh, this uh, pattern that we made on the body of the cardigan repeat this pattern all the way to the end i am at the end of this round and uh, this is the last front post double crochet from the last round we are going to make a treble crochet around the post of that like that and then i will slip stitch on the top of our starting chain three of this round chain one turn around and make one single crochet on the top of our first uh, front post treble crochet chain three one two three and one single crochet on the top of next treble crochet chain three one single crochet on the top of next treble crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet chain one return slip stitch into the first available chain three chain three space chain three one two three and now on you are going to repeat these two rounds 
this round and this round repeat these rounds until the length of your uh, uh, sleeve is approximately uh, six inches six and a half or until you get the desired length of the sleeve and uh, minus if you want to change your color then you can change the color in last two rounds and uh, then fasten off and then we will start working on our collar we are done with our sleeves what we are going to do now is that we will start working on our button band and uh, for that what we are going to do is this is our left front side we are going to join here on the top of our left front side on the neckline and I am going to join my ya uh, white yarn I'm going to use contrasting color into that so what I will do is that I will join here this is the uh, chain 3 that we um, skipped at the first uh, round after we made a uh, chain 3 uh, after we made our basic chains and then we made, skipped first 3 chains and then we made one double crochet into the next we are going to make we are going to uh, join the yarn into the first chain that we skipped or on the base of that starting chain 3 we will join the yarn there like that and then I will make chain 1 make one single crochet into the same chain where we have joined the yarn one single crochet into the next uh, chain now this is the top of uh, this uh, chain or third chain and or bay and base of the double crochet we made in the next round so we, the, there is this tiny hole we are going to make one single crochet into that this is the side of that double crochet we there are two loops on the side of that double crochet this one and this one we are going to make a single crochet into on on the side of that double crochet under both loops there this is top of that double crochet and uh, base of that uh, uh, starting chain 3 from the next round we are going to make one single crochet into that hole one single crochet into the second uh, chain this is the uh, three chains starting three chains you can make one single crochet into the second chain one single crochet on the top of this is the top of that chain 3 and base of the uh, double crochet from the next round there is that tiny hole we are going to make one single crochet into that hole repeat this pattern until you reach here what you will do is that you will make one single crochet on the side of double crochet one single crochet on the top of that double crochet one single crochet into the second chain of the uh, of the uh, these uh, starting chain 3 and one single crochet on the top of that starting chain 3 repeat this pattern until here and then I will resume the video again I am here where the skirt part of this uh, cardigan starts or where the um, we started making those um, chains and then all those stitches this is the top of our uh, chain 3 so I have made one single crochet on that make one single crochet this is the single crochet and then we made chain 2 at the start so this is the uh, single crochet make a single crochet on the side of that this is chain 3 starting chain 3 from uh, yes and then we will make one single crochet onto that this is the top of that chain 3 we will make one single crochet on that again this is single crochet we will make one single crochet on that this is double crochet 
we will make one double crochet a uh, single crochet on this side of that one this is top of that uh, double crochet we will make one single crochet on that repeat this pattern all the way to the end until you reach here by making one single crochet in on this side of single crochet one into the starting chain three one on the top of that starting chain three there is this hole this tiny hole into that one single crochet into this um, uh, double uh, side of this double crochet one single crochet on the on the top of that uh, uh, what you call it uh, double crochet and one double uh, sorry single crochet and one single crochet on the uh, into the single crochet i'll try again my I, I think it's getting a little bit complicated just make I'll start here this is the single crochet make one single crochet into that this is starting chain 3 make one single crochet into that and then make one single crochet on the top of that uh, what you call it starting chain 3 then there is again this uh, single crochet make one single crochet into that one single crochet into next if it's chain three or double crochet whatever it is make one single crochet into that as well so you should end up with in these two rounds you should end up with one two three four five six and seven double cro uh, single crochets uh, into these two rounds make evenly or whatever uh, method you prefer make just evenly one single crochet on the side of these um, uh, stitches all the way to the end make one sing i have already made one single crochet into this uh, second chain starting chain make one single crochet into the third chain same starting chain make chain one and turn around this round is very simple you are going to just simply make one single crochet in each and every single crochet to the end make one single crochet into the base of the same single crochet and one single crochet in each and every stitch to the end and then at the end of that round what you will do is that you will make chain one turn around and repeat this pattern uh, row two more times in total you should end up with four single crochet rows on the left front side make one single crochet in each and every single crochet all the way to the end and repeat this row two more times and then i will resume the video again right uh, left side of the button band is done now we are going to work on the right side of the button band where we are going to make button uh, holes for the buttons as well for that what we are going to do is we are going to join on the uh, top right bottom sorry bottom right side we are going to join our yarn and then <clears throat> this is the top of our first double crochet here we are going to join into that and then we will make chain one and one single crochet into the same stitch same uh, place one single crochet on this side of this double crochet one single crochet this is the single crochet we are going to make one single crochet into that like that one single crochet on the base of that single crochet there is this tiny hole we are going to make one single crochet into this tiny hole one single crochet on the side of this double crochet one single crochet into this uh, next single crochet there 
one single crochet into this uh, double crochet uh, sorry one single crochet into the base of that single crochet and top of this is the single crochet where we have made our last single crochet and this is the base of that single crochet and top of this double crochet this tiny hole we are going to make one single crochet into that one single crochet around uh, on the side of the next double crochet again we have this single crochet so we will make one single crochet into that one single crochet on the into the base of that single crochet and top of this double crochet again one single crochet on the side of next double crochet repeat this pattern until we reach here this is the first single crochet that we made uh, when we started making uh, a, a skirt make one single crochet into that one single crochet into the base of that and top of this double crochet one single crochet on the side of that double crochet one single crochet on the bottom and uh, top of uh, on the bottom of that double crochet and top of the uh, starting chain three one single crochet around uh, on the side of uh, chain three repeat this pattern all the way to the top by making one single crochet into the base and top of these uh, two stitches one single crochet on the side of that stitch one single crochet on the base of that stitch one single crochet into the chain three one single crochet on the base, base of that stitch simply you are making if i uh, explain it easily you are making two single crochets in each and every uh, row one single crochet on the top of that and one single crochet on the side of that and then one single crochet on the top of next rows uh, stitch and one single crochet on the side of that stitch repeat all this pattern all the way to the top and then i will resume the video again chain one i have already made chain one and then turn around in this round we will make the holes for the buttons one single crochet into the same stitch or the first single crochet chain two one and two skip next single crochet and one single crochet into next eight stitches one two three four five six seven and eight one single crochet then i made chain two skipped one single crochet and then one two three four five six seven eight single crochets chain two skip next single crochet and one single crochet into skip this one and into next eight single crochets make one single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight now we have made our uh, second uh, button hole first second now we are going to make our third one chain two one and two skip next single crochet and make one single crochet into all of the remaining single crochet all the way to the end simply make one single crochet all the way to the end and then I will resume the video again chain one 
and turn around and make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until you reach your first chain two space simple plain single crochet into each and every single crochet I'm always having trouble with the light because when I turn the light a little bit up the white yarn reflects a lot and then I'm always confused about if it's too much light or if it's too little light and all that so it's also a, what you call it trouble when I'm working with the white yarn this is why I don't use white yarn much in my projects just because of the light because it it just does not go with the lighting and we live in Denmark so we can't see much sunshine here so that option is out of the window so we have to go with the flow we have to go with the, uh, whatever is available now so I'm using just the light but the problem is that light doesn't like <laughs> white color yarn okay so I am where our first chain th two spaces I am going to make two single crochets into that one and two and now I'm sure you guys know very well that we are just simply go gonna make one single crochet into next eight single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight two single crochets into the next one and two one single crochet into next eight one two three four five six seven and eight two single crochets into last chain two space and one single crochet on the top of our next or last single crochet cut the yarn and now we will weave in weave the ends in and then i will resume the video when we will start working on our collar now we are going to work on our um, uh, collar for that what we are going to do is that we are going to turn the left uh, front side like that and then we will join here when the wrong side of the work is facing towards us for that and after that this is the first uh, We are going to join this is the chain three we skipped at the start of this cardigan we are going to join into that uh, base of that chain or first chain that we skipped and then we will make one two three chains this starting chain three counts as our first double, uh, double crochet and I will make one double crochet into next three chains or into the base of these three double crochets one two and three in total we have four double crochets now we will make two double crochets into next chain or into the base of this uh, next uh, double crochet one and two make one double crochet into next one two three four stitches one two three and four this is where we made our last increase after that we made one two three four double crochets and then an increase again into the next by making two double crochets into that one and two 
repeat this pattern this small section from here to here by making one double crochet into next one two three four stitches and then two double crochets into the next you are going to make an increase every fifth every fifth stitch all the way to the end I am at the end of this uh, row and at the end of this row after making la your last increase you should have three more stitches to go so make one double crochet into those last three stitches one two and three chain one and turn your work around make one single crochet on uh, into the base of same stitch chain two one and two skip next uh, one uh, double crochet and one single crochet into the next chain one two three skip next two double crochets and one single crochet into the next one two three skip next two double crochets and single crochets into the next repeat this pattern by making chain three skipping two double crochets and one single crochet into the next all the way to the end and i will resume the video when i reach here I am at the end of this round and I have made 20 these chain spaces and now I have two double crochets and one chain three left what I will do is I will make one two chain two and make a single crochet skip these two double crochets and uh, make a single crochet on the top of our starting chain three from the last round chain three one I have already made one two three turn around and make two double crochets into the first chain space one and two front post double crochet around the post of our first single crochet three double crochets into the next chain space one two and three F a front post double crochet around the single crochet three double crochets into the next one two three front post double crochet around the single crochet repeat this pattern by making three double crochets into this chain three space and one front post double crochet around the post of single crochet all the way to the end and i will resume the video when i will reach here i have worked my last front post double crochet here and now this is the last chain two space i am going to make two double crochets into that one and two and then one double crochet on the top of our single crochet chain one turn around and make one single crochet into the same stitch where we have made chain one chain three one two three skip two double crochets and this is the double crochet front post double crochet from the last round make a single crochet on the top of that one two three chain three skip next three double crochets and into the front post double crochet make a single crochet one two three chain three make a single crochet on the top of this front post double crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making chain three and one single crochet on the top of front post uh, double crochet all the way to the end and uh, sorry sorry i forgot that at the start we are not going to make chain three we are going to make chain two one and two and uh, single crochet 
two chains after single crochet one single crochet on the top of front posts double crochet from the last round chain three and then skip all the uh, these uh, double crochets and one single crochet on the top of front post uh, double crochet repeat this pattern by making chain three and making a single crochet on the top of this front post double crochet from the last round all the way until you reach here this is the last front post stitch make a single crochet on the top of that and then make chain two instead of chain three and make a single crochet on the top of this starting chain three from the last round and then i will resume the video again chain three one two three turn around <coughs> and make two double crochets basically we are repeating this round but instead of uh, front post double crochet we are going to make front post triple crochet and make two double crochets into this chain two space one and two Tri uh, front post triple crochet around the um, uh, front post double crochet we are going going one uh, round below one round down and then make front post treble crochet into that three double crochets into next chain three space one two three front post treble crochet into this front post double crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end when you reach here after making your last front post treble crochet make two double crochet into this chain two space and make one double uh, two double crochets into this chain two space and one double crochet on the top of, of our first uh, single crochet and repeat this these two rounds this one and the round we are working on right now one more times so you should end up we total three of these uh, uh, rounds these uh, what you call it sets of or granny uh, this is called granny stitch so you should have three uh, set of uh, three rounds of that i'll show you here one two three rounds and also there are these rounds as well so in total you should end up with one two sorry one two three four five six rounds plus our uh, plain round where we made our increasing at the start when we st uh, attached the yarn here so repeat these two rounds once more the last round and this round repeat it once more and then i will resume the video again we are almost done the only thing missing is to attach the buttons here and uh, to make this cord you can make uh, it is very easy to make this for that what you can do is that you can simply make um, you can make as many chains as you want to but I am going to make 150 plain chains simply make one slip knot like that and make 150 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 150 chains and then I will cut the yarn and our coat is ready what we will do now is that we will sew the buttons on the cardigan I have to find the right size of the button I think this will fit this will be too far small so I will I'm gonna use these three buttons
Let me paint this shirt. Uh, no, I'm gonna use that bottle green. Now there is one thing that I almost forgot and that is that when we started working on our sleeves there was something that I said that don't worry about this hole because we have this hole on, on the underarm I said we are going to close it so we are going to go inside and this is that hole it's a big hole what we are going to do is thread the needle with the yarn and just simply close it by making leave a little bit tail of this uh, end of the yarn so that and simply and simply close this hole by making simple sorry by making simple stitches like that so that hole is closed like that and now cut the yarn a little bit longer and make couple of knots with both ends of this uh, these uh, yarn uh, these ends of yarn like that pull it snug and cut the extra yarn and now you will see that your hole here is closed and now what we are going to do is we are simply going to weave this cord onto the cardigan we will weave into this last round on the yoke before the skirt part this is the round when we separated the um, uh, skirt uh, when we separated the arm for the armholes and front and back side we will go under two stitches and above three stitches simple as that over three under uh, over two under three simple as that So the cardigan is all our martini coat or martini coat uh, coat or cardigan or whatever you want to call it i'm sorry i speak danish so sometimes my accent gets <laughs> gets in the way of english and instead of saying tea i am i just call it tea so sorry for that so this is done it's very cute actually it looks very cute in the um, uh, in real life rather than in the video and because uh, i don't know what's wrong with the camera because sometimes camera does not show the exact shade of the yarn but it's like very cute it looks very cute i did not have any what you call it uh, embellishment or anything like that to attach it i have ordered some maybe i will uh, so on or um, stick on uh, 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 embellishment that i will uh, what you call it um, attach it here but it looks very cute for now like that and this is the one i have already made and i had this embellishment so i added it here um, this is it thank you so much for watching if there again i always say in my videos if there is anything that is confusing for you guys if there is anything you guys did not understand uh, please let me know in the comment box and uh, if there is any critic i'm ready to take it and uh, hopefully it was easy i will uh, share the link to the um, uh, original pattern in my part one so uh, it's easy for you guys to go and follow if you guys want to follow the written pattern thank you so much for watching 
Peace be upon you all and happy crocheting.